It has been one of the closest midterm races in recent history. And now, with less than a week left until voters head to the polls, the two leading candidates for Massachusetts governor, Republican Charlie Baker, and Democrat Martha Coakley had one last chance to formally debate yesterday. Though the candidates kept their composure at first, speaking about job plans and education, it didn't take long for Coakley to push Baker on the pay-to-play scandal. I don't understand why you wouldn't be transparent which about I, it. Which I asked a very prominent attorney with a big track record in federal election law. Who you paid, who you paid sure, to come up, draw a sure. conclusion but when you, in your favor, when no you doubt. Need, then, Coakley stumbled when she seemingly checked with Charlie Baker before she said if she was going to raise fees or not. You're making a pledge right now not to raise fees. I, I don't anticipate that we will raise fees. But it's not a solid promise. Well, I, I, is Charlie pledging? Are you signing that in blood, Charlie? You're not going to raise fees? I'm not going to raise fees. Then I'm not going to raise fees either. Okay. In the discussion... In she the later retracted her statement in a post-debate interview. I was trying to make a joke. Maybe it wasn't the best one I've ever made. I hope I don't have to raise taxes. The debate had a similar aggression to Monday's, but it did have an emotional element when both candidates were asked about the last time they cried. Coakley recalled a memorial service for a union organizer who had died of leukemia, the same disease that claimed the life of Coakley's mother. And Baker held back tears when he spoke about a New Bedford father's remorse for not letting his sons accept a football scholarship. My father was a fisherman. You're going to be fishermen. And I ruined their lives. By the end of the night, the two even agreed on some issues. I'd, I actually like his earned income tax credit for families. With the election still too close to call, it's safe to say that both campaigns will be out in full force this coming week, promoting their message and continuing their push for governor. Reporting in Needham for the BU News Service, I'm Paul Dudley.